Hi, my name is Stephen. This is going to be my first video blog. Um, the reason that I decided to do this is because I am seriously considering getting lap band surgery. Um, there are a lot of people out there that have made lap band surgery videos. Uh, majority of them are female, and it'd be nice to have some more male perspectives on uh, the internet. Uh, I have seen some, and uh, this is just my take. Again, these are just my opinions, my views, the way that I feel and the way that I kind of view uh, this procedure and this journey. Um, my, first of all, my name is Steven. I live in Houston, Texas. I'm uh, 41 years old. I'm currently at 269 pounds. Uh, I've been kind of fluctuating between 271, 275, sometimes as low as 265, um, and I've been overweight all my life. Um, it's always been something that I've had to struggle and deal with. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, I've had some, you know, some, I've had some, your know, problems getting a grip on it, I guess is the best way to say it. I've had some really, really good uh, good years where I got down close to what my ideal body weight should be. And, uh, you know, 190 looks really, really good. I, I feel good. I, I look good. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm supposed to be like at 165. I've gotten down to 170 before, and it's a full-time job. That's the, the easiest way to say it. You worry about everything going into your mouth. Every time you step on the scale, it, uh, it is always traumatic. And I would like for it just to be over. Um, uh, this last year, my best friend and I, um, he's four years younger, had decided that, you know, we really need to take control of our weight. And we both decided to really, you know, be diligent about what we're eating, working out, try to work out at least three to four times every week. Um, he was probably a little bit better at it than I was, but he went on the, the low GI diet and it worked really, really well for him. He lost uh, 50 to 60 pounds within a three month period. I, on the other hand, um, whether it's due to age or not going on the GI diet, only lost about 10 pounds and then I plateaued forever. Um, my clothes got a little bit looser, but nothing else. So um, I talked to my doctor and I said, but this can't go on anymore. I really need to find out what the answer is. You know, either I got to get to the point where I just realize I'm going to be fat and um, I just have to be comfortable with being fat or, you know, we, we, we got to find the answer somewhere, and so we decided that we would explore the op the options of weight loss surgery. And banding is actually the first thing that I considered. Um, I've been listening and watching videos, and thank you so much for being honest and you know, sharing your stories and sharing your journeys because it's really really helped a lot. Uh, particularly banded Wendy, thank you so much for being so candid and just you know, being so diligent about putting out the videos. Uh, I heard you talk today a little bit about uh, VSG, vertical sleeve, uh, gastric, blah, 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 blah. And uh, Monday when uh, the business is back to usual, I'm going to go and call a doctor in Houston and find out some more information about that. I still am on the, sh the fence about it. I've done a lot of reading. Um, one of Another person I'd like to thank is, where is my book, um, is Jean McMillan. Uh, I've been reading this uh, on the bandwagon in her blog, uh, jean-onthebandwagon.blogspot.com. And thank you, Jean, for being so honest, and thank you for giving all this helpful information. It really, really helped. Um, so... Yeah, thank you. Uh, so Monday, I'm going to go find out a little bit more about VSG. I haven't really, really decided. Um, I'm going with a particular place, and I don't want to mention any names or anything, but uh, it kind of has me a little worried. It kind of feels a little bit like um, cosmetic surgery in a mall, in a shopping strip. 
Um, they, that's all I do is lap band procedures. And uh, but a, I haven't met with the the surgeon. Uh, b, uh, on blogs, I've heard that a lot of people haven't met the surgeon until they get approved for anything. And three, I kind of feel a little bit pushed, and I. Don't worry, I'm a pretty strong person. I'm not going to be pushing me into anything I'm not ready for. But it's, uh, you know, it's it, it has me a little apprehensive. So I would personally rather deal with a doctor from beginning to end. This feels a little bit too much like max surgery to me. Um, but I'm not sure if that's just what you expect. I haven't been able to, due to the holidays, go to a support group or get any real feedback other than it's online. And I deal very well with one-on-one -on -one interaction rather than just... Um, just the video blogging and just the forums, even though they do help, you really can't get that instant feedback and that cold kind of like brainstorming. So anyway, um, after the whole episode with my friend of losing weight, I pretty much just had given up. I just like, you know what, I guess I'm just going to be fat. Uh, went out and bought work pants that all have you know, elastic stretchies that are here, uh, not on the outside, but just on the inside. So um, these are all 40s, uh, but when I didn't measure my waist from my belly button all the way around, I'm about 52 inches. When I weigh my, where my waist should be, I'm about 48 inches. Um, I am going through the whole, like, am I just lazy? Uh, am I, do, is this really something that's necessary? And I'm starting to answer my own questions as to, no, I'm not lazy. I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to eat correctly. But, uh, you know, and I've done the work before and I've gotten down low before and whether the lesson that I was supposed to learn just didn't work. So I'm looking for a tool. I'm not looking for the answer that, oh, I'm going to have lap band surgery and I'm going to be thin, but I'm looking for that tool that will assist me to be like, okay, um, stop, whoa, slow down. And that's kind of why I really like the lap band procedure. But uh, there's things about it that kind of scare me, and I'll talk about fears hopefully next time I vlog. Uh, again, this is mainly just an introduction. And uh, so... Hopefully, um, you got to know a little bit more about me, and I look forward to hearing from you, and uh, I guess that's it for right now, other than Happy New Year, welcome to 2011, and let's let it be a great year. Uh, thank you.